For this video, we're going to be discussing solving systems of inequalities. So just like we solve systems of equations, we can solve systems of inequalities. And we're going to solve these by using graphing. And doing this is pretty simple. All we're going to do is graph both inequalities on the same coordinate plane. And the area where their solutions overlap, that's the solution to the system. So for example, if I gave you the inequalities, 2x plus 3y is greater than 5 and 4x minus 2y is less than or equal to 3, and I ask you to solve the, this system, all we'd have to do is we graph 2x plus 3y is greater than 5, which I've done here. Then we graph 2, 4x minus 2y is less than or equal to 3, which I've graphed here. And we would graph them on the same coordinate plane. So in this one, this is just 2x plus 3y equals 5. This is just 4x minus 2y is less than or equal to 3. And this is both of them graphed together. And you can notice we have this area here. We have this area here where they overlap, this purple area. This in here, this is the solution to the inequality. This whole area in here is the solution. Now, an interesting thing to think about here, this is a dotted line because it's just greater than. So none of the points on this line are in the solution. However, this is a solid line, so these points are all in the solution. And then what about this intersection point? Well, because one line is solid and one line is dashed, the intersection point where they cross is not a solution to our first inequality here, so it's not part of the solution to this whole thing. So basically, all we're doing is graphing them together and this part where their solutions overlap, that is the solution to the system. So in this case, it's this whole area up here. All right, so we're gonna do some examples. Number one says graph the solution to this system of inequalities. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to graph my first inequality, my second inequality, and I'm gonna see where they overlap. So I've got three X plus Y is greater than seven. All right, well, to graph this, I'm going to put it in slope-intercept form, so I'm just going to subtract 3x on both sides. Now I have y is greater than negative 3x plus 7. All right, if we think back to graphing, I know my y-intercept is right here at 7, and my slope is negative 3, which is the same idea as negative 3 over 1, which means I'm going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. Down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. 1, 2, 3, over 1, and so on. You can see that I'm making a dashed line because this inequality does not have any sort of equal to side on it. All right, so there we go. Now I need to figure out which way to shade. Well, if I plug in the point 0, 0, I get 0 is greater than, plugging in 0 for y and 0 for x, negative 3 times 0 is 0, plus 7 is 7, 0 is not greater than 7, so I don't want to shade down here. I want to shade on this side. All right, so this over here, this is my solution to this inequality. All right. Now I need to do my second inequality here. 10x minus 4y is less than or equal to 16. Put that in slope-intercept form, subtract 10x, then divide by negative 4, negative 4, Notice my sign changes because I divided by a negative. Now I know I have a y-intercept at negative four, and my slope is five over two, which means I'm gonna go up five over two. So up five, one, two, three, four, five, over two, one, two, right there. Notice that's the point where they cross. So now, because this has got the greater than or equal to symbol, this is a solid line. Connects those two points. So like that. I'm gonna make it, oh, don't wanna do that. Make this line a bit longer. It stretches across the whole graph. Okay, now I need to figure out which way I'm going to shade. If I plug in zero, zero, I get zero is greater than or equal to five halves times zero, which is zero, minus four, which is negative four. 
That is true, so I want to shade up here. All right, everything up this way gets shaded. All right, so now, where is the solution to this system? Well, the solution to the system is everywhere we see overlapping red and blue. Okay, and I'm going to color that in purple. So the solution to this inequality is this region up here. Notice I'm not coloring on the blue line because it's dashed, but I'm going to color on the red line because it's solid. This whole area that I just outlined in purple, this is the solution to the inequality because it is where a solution to the system because it's the solu inside the solution to both inequalities. All right, It's just the spot where they overlap. That's all we're looking for is the area where the solutions to two inequalities overlap. So that's my answer right there. Now let's try one more example. So graph the solution to this system. Negative 2x minus y is greater than negative 2. 12x plus 6y is, less than, or is greater than or equal to 18. So if we work our way through this, negative 2x plus y is, this shouldn't be plus y. This should be minus y. Okay, greater than or equal to negative 2. So y, negative y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 2. y is less than negative 2x plus 2. All right, so this is it in slope-intercept form. I can now plot my points. I know my y-intercept is here at 2. Oh, I don't want it to be purple. I want it to be blue. My y-intercept is at 2. My slope is negative 2, so that's down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, or up to left 1, alright, now I need to figure out which way to shade, if I plug in 0, 0, I get 0 is less than 2. Well, that's true. So this is the way I want to shade. So I'm just going to put my shading in like this. I think it'll be easier to see the overlap if I just put them in. Put it in like this. So this whole area over here, this is our solution for that one inequality. So now I'm going to move to my second inequality. 12x plus 6y is greater than or equal to 18. So if we do that, subtract 12x on both sides, divide by 6. I get y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 3. Do this one in red. My y-intercept is negative 3. That's right there. My slope is negative 2, so that's down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. Okay? Notice that these are parallel lines here. Okay? So, this is a solid line goes through here like this. All right. Notice we're dealing with parallel lines here. So I want to make this a little bigger. Well, that's not what I want to make bigger. I want to make my line bigger. Okay. So I've got these parallel lines here. Now I want to test 0 0 for this one. So I get 0 0. I get 0 is greater than or equal. Negative 2 times 0 is 0 minus 3 is negative 3. That's true. So I'm going to shade up this way. All right. My solution is just where they overlap. So it can't be up here because that's not part of the solution to my blue inequality. Can't be down here because that's not part of the solution to my red inequality. It's in fact just going to be the area between the two lines just this area in here between the two lines because that's where my two inequalities overlap. All right, so all we're saying is, hey, the inequalities overlap, my shading overlaps in here. So this purple area, this is the solution to my system of inequalities. All right, so now you've seen what you do. All you have to do is graph both of these two inequalities and figure out which one of these shows the overlapping shaded regions.